What's up guys, it's your girl T and I am here today with Dr. Ramoyne. She's an epidemiologist, which basically means she studies infectious diseases all day long. I'm a professor at UCLA School of Public Health and I study how disease spreads in populations. Today we're going to be talking about epidemics as they're portrayed in movies and see what they got right and what they got wrong. The chimps are infected. They're, they're highly contagious. They've been given an inhibitor. Infected with what? In order to cure, you must first understand. Infected with what? Rage. There are diseases that can cause changes in behavior, and there are examples like rabies, which make people more aggressive. Uh, there are other diseases like toxoplasmosis, which can, for example, make mice less afraid of cats and then more likely to be eaten. So the idea of a virus changing behavior is actually real, just the actual execution of it in the movie was maybe a little bit exaggerated. If someone gets infected, you've got between 10 and 20 seconds to kill them. It might be your brother or your sister or your oldest friend. It makes no difference. And just so you know where you stand, if it happens to you, I'll do it in a heartbeat. So the idea that from the time that you are exposed to a disease to showing symptoms is only 10 to 20 seconds is not very realistic. But that's something that's called the incubation period. It can normally take anywhere from eight to 12 hours for something that, that would be very, very fast, or norovirus, for example. But most diseases will take much longer than that. You okay? Mm -hmm. <coughs> you sure? You don't sound so good. I think it's a flu or something. So Patrick died. Yeah, I think that that was actually a perfect example of what happened disaster breeding disaster. I mean, what we see all the time is that there's a war, or you have all of the, uh, the infrastructure falling apart, that all of a sudden you have diseases that you could have controlled before. They're not very controllable. During the Ebola outbreak, uh, the infrastructure broke down. People were not able to immunize kids anymore, and so all of a sudden you started having measles outbreaks and, and other diseases that are normally controlled. So, absolutely. We're all infected. But the CDC, Jenner told me, whatever it is, we all carry it. In the very controversial second season of The Walking Dead, uh, we also learned that all of the characters in the show are infected with this virus. Basically, it means that because they're already infected, they're all gonna become zombies eventually once they actually die. Is it possible for us all to be walking around with diseases that we don't even know about? I would say that, that there are diseases that you have a large proportion of the population having um, herpes virus. A lot of people are infected with that. HPV is another example. There, there are other diseases like cytomegalovirus where you have most people at some point have been infected with it, but they're what not is sick. that? Cytomegalovirus? Yeah. It's just a, a, a common virus that usually people get when they're babies, but um, can, they can get later on in life. It sounds like it would make you a superhero, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Well, uh, superhero viruses only infect a few people, clearly, <laughs> so. <laughs> Alvarez died of the original strain. Seward died of the new strain. Now, these are too close together on the tree for the virus to have suddenly spontaneously mutated. So I think that the host animal is carrying both strains. Is it possible for a monkey or even a human to carry two or more strains of the same virus? Yeah, that's absolutely possible. So HIV is a perfect example of a disease where people may have more than one strain. HPV is another example. So, so sure, you can be infected with more than one strain of, of many diseases. Have you ever seen the effects of hemorrhagic fever? No, sir. Allow me, sir. Major? Yes, Major. When the patient first gets the virus, he complains of flu-like symptoms, and in two or three days, pink lesions begin to appear all over his body, along with small pustules that soon erupt with the blood and pus, a kind of milky substance. These particular lesions become full-blown. They feel like mush to the touch. There's vomiting, diarrhea, bleeding in the nose, ears, gums, the eyes hemorrhage, the internal organs shut I'm down. almost afraid to ask this. Are there diseases really like Motaba in the real world? Yeah, there are actually diseases like Motaba. They're, they're called hemorrhagic fevers. So that would be Ebola, or Marburg, or Lhasa. Do you know the incubation period? No, but it kills in two or three days. 
the mortality rate is 100%. Jesus. There are very few diseases that are actually 100% fatal. The Spanish influenza, which is one of the most deadly diseases of all time, only had about a 20% fatality rate. Are there any epidemic movies that you love that we haven't talked about? Airplane. Airplane wow. is my favorite outbreak movie because it's about a foodborne outbreak on a plane. What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak, fish. Yes, yes, I remember I had lasagna. Wow. Right, the, you have Leslie Nielsen going around trying to figure out if people ate the, the, the steak or the fish. Uh -huh. The whole thing is about a, a foodborne outbreak on a plane. That is actually my favorite outbreak uh, movie. The life of everyone on board depends upon just one thing, finding someone back there who can not only fly this plane, but who didn't have fish for dinner. Now, where can people find you if they want to learn more about terrible diseases? I run a research program in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and I'm a professor at UCLA. You can go to our website. You can also follow me on Twitter. That's going to do it for us today. Make sure you guys follow Dr. Ramoyne on all of her platforms, and make sure you follow us so that you don't miss our next episode. Leave a comment letting us know what myths you want busted movie-wise when it comes to science, technology, all that kind of jazz, and we'll get an expert in here to let us know what's real and what ain't. We'll see you guys next time.